So let's see how this race goes on, ladies and gents. Right in there. Quick on his toes. <laughs> so down the main straight we come. And uh, is it going to be a start or no? And it is. It's a go for the Junior Rotax. Heat number one. So all around the corner we go. There's 23 drivers in this grid. And uh, leading the way is the 55 Volley Wise. Feels like I've not done commentary for ages. Up towards the top bend. Down the main straight we come. And we are underway. Here's the running order on your left. It's not the formation lap as we are underway. So it's Ollie Wise followed by Joshua Withcombe. There it's Jaden Mead, Ava Morris, Hugh Moulton, Archie Dyson, Jaden Sherwood, Lucas Reeves, Kian Downer, Jasmine Taylor. And I need to sneeze. There we go. <laughs> it's all going off now. So it's a 55-39 out in front. Good start from those two as they pull away from the rest of the pack. It's very bunched up at the uh, near the rear of the pack more than anything. So here comes your leaders. Lots of changes to be said on the screen. As you can see, I'm on the left-hand side of your screen. Couple making a couple of positions up, some losing a couple as we fly on through. Third, uh, fourth onto third. Morton on Mead. And it is a change for the two down at the hairpin. Around the horseshoe we go. Ava Morris out there sliding a little bit. 72 having to uh, chuck to the grass slightly just to get out of the way. Ava Morris into the juniors. She had the last three rounds of last season. Uh, in the juniors this time. She is in full power in juniors starting the season off. And uh, staying very steady in that area. Your fastest lap is Hugh Moulton though at the minute of 36.28. As one's off in the grass. Cross country as we, uh, as I say it quite often here on the YouTube live stream. Cross, actually cross country is more at the S's. Ah, still going off the circuit aren't they? Different adventure. So the lead is half a, uh, just over half a second, more than 0.62 uh, between Ollie Wise and Withcombe. Withcombe, another challenger from last year as well. Very competitive in the series. He's back out once again. Meanwhile, the 32 losing a few positions here in the last lap or so. Coming down the main straight, though, is your two front runners of the 55 and 39. As uh, we have a, another fastest lap set, which is a 35-4-9. Ava Morris down into 8th position. Still in the top 10 fighting. As I say that, she's uh, overtaken down the inside by the 12 of uh, Cox. Uh, looks like we lost Zach Ormshaw in this race as well 5 laps ago. So he did not make the start, unfortunately. Uh, he did head on into the pits. Lots going on. Uh, early doors here. Still Moulton with the fastest lap time of 35.08. Trying to catch with the front two, which are slowly coming together. And they have one contact warning in this race as well. So on the right hand side, uh, right hand side, left hand side of the YouTube live stream. It used to be on the right hand side, uh, on the left hand side there. So 39, closing that gap, 0.37 now. As uh, Ollie Wise did set a fast sector one and two last time out, so he's feeling the presence of Withcombe. Moulton just steady in third, just hanging behind for now. And uh, fourth and fifth. The two, oh, the, it's about the Jadens. It's Jaden Mead and Jaden Sherwood uh, who are coming up to the top bend now. They are battling for fourth position. The battle with the Jadens. Which one will come out on uh, further up the grid? We shall find out real soon. When I say real soon, down the inside goes Sherwood on Mead. The 22 now ahead of the 29. 
And that is a swapper position for those two. We'll continue to watch this battle in the background as, uh, meanwhile, near the closer to the front of the grid is uh, Wise and Withcombe. Withcombe starting to really get close now. So we come down the main straight. Still no changes, but there is a gap. That is sort of opening and closing. Four tenths is the gap at the minute. Uh, Hugh Moulton is also closing the times. Knocked off a tenth off of last time. Fastest lap still is with Moulton in third position. So going around the hairpin and horseshoe combination. Combination. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Down through towards the billies we go. We're going around the S's now. And Charlie Cox now taking the fastest lap. Uh, that was a 34.95. So he is the first one into the 34s by the looks of it as well. So uh, some pace from him at, at the closing stages of this race. One minute 34 remains. As we come down the main straight, looks like we're getting to one of our back markers here. The number 17, we're gonna, uh, that's a runner's sarcus. Currently chilling uh, at the back of the grid there, through the S's down the back straight, he goes. So top three, uh, starting to close into one another now it was a 1.1 second gap between Moulton and Withcombe but it looks like it's changing once again I uh, just noticed there's some graphical glitches on the top of the, this camera so apologies if uh, you do notice anything at the top there uh, so Ollie Wise, Withcombe, Moulton one second is a gap from first to second but Moulton is 0.6 behind Withcombe. So let's see how this turns out later on in the race. Contact warning given to Lucas Reeves. As you can see it on the uh, timing screen on your left. Well, lots of changes to be said throughout today. Let's see 95 goes over the line there. 16 seconds. Your lead has already gone over the line. So we have a mechanical flag as well, just spotting that too. Let's go into Kean Downer in the 11th position. The mechanical flag. Uh, I believe you'll be next over the line here. Oh no, he's already gone in. <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, I'm wrong. <laughs> right, let's try and find our leaders once again. Losing well easy on this uh, side of it. And it is last lap going out to Ollie Wise at the moment. The gaps is forming here. Hugh Moulton is closing, but is there enough time in this lap to do it? It is full on for now. So down towards the hairpin we go. A lot of battling going on in the back of the pack as we start to close up to uh, one of the back markers of the 95. Um, but the 39 at the moment, Withcombe at threat from Moulton, but I don't think it's going to be enough time as coming down the main straight, ladies and gentlemen, the checker flag has gone out for Ollie Wise. He takes the checker flag, followed by Withcombe, then Moulton. It only got down to just under, uh, just over half a second in the end. Uh, so unfortunately, wasn't able to claim second, but gets third anyway. Top three: Ollie Wise, Joshua Withcombe, Hugh Moulton. Realised music was playing throughout the whole entire of that commentary. <laughs> so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready for this. There we won't. It's a false start. We're going back around again, ladies and gents. Right. <laughs> All swarming around. And we've got a spinner. If I had a pound for anybody who spins on a formation lap, I'd be rich. <laughs> so here we go then. Let's get the second time round. 
for the formation lap. So, here we go. And we are underway for the first heat. We've got a couple of spinners at the back there where one's gone a bit sideways. It's all chaos at the back, but it's not at the front as leading the way. It's the 84, very closely followed by the 12. Everything's happening at the rear, but we've got action at the front as at the front between... Uh, the 12 and the 84, the 12 now in the lead. So the 12, that is Charlie Cox. He started quite midfield uh, at the start of this race. So down the main straight we come. Running order on the left-hand side of the YouTube live stream as per usual. It is going to be Cox, Taylor, Metters, Burke, Reeves, Clark, Chown, Smith, Swales, and then Ava Morris in P10 to round out your top 10. Uh, she does have Ollie Wise right close behind. As there is a form of drops coming from the sky. Uh-oh, this could be interesting. So, here we go. So, from the top bend, down the main straight we come. So, Charlie Cox with a bit of a lead at the start here. That's a 2.1 second gap. As a few drivers going wide here. When I say a few, it's only the one. And that one driver was... I think that was a 16, possibly, of uh, Lucas Reeves. No, it was a 53. Yarrick Metters. He went a bit wide at Billy's there. Fast lap goes to Hugh Moulton a bit further down the grid. Showing up in purple on your screens here. But that gap 12 from the number 12 uh, is high. It is 3.3 seconds here. Lots of movements on the running order for these guys and girls. But the 57 hit, Burke. Defending off to Jasmine Taylor, who's currently in P3. Very closely followed by Metas. Managed to stay close to the front of the grid where he was originally. So down the main straight, and the number 12 still leads away. 4.2 is the gap, but it's this battle for second that we shall keep our eyes on to as one darts down the inside. The 84 ahead of the 57. So Taylor up into P2, but that could have changed once again down at the hairpin. Uh, it looks like it's staying the same for the moment. And we've also got a couple of other drivers joining in. It's Aiden Clark and Maxim Smith, the 31 and the 30. So there goes our leader. Charlie Cox. So lots of changes once again in that midfield pack. It's just non-stop. But we shall keep an eye on the P2. And a few other bits as uh, loads going through the S's there. As one massive lunge, but it didn't quite work out there. Stays behind... Well, that was a long lunge. You can see it from a mile away. That was the 76, I think that was. Uh, yeah, Max Chown making a very big lunge, uh, but doesn't stick. Right, down the main straight then, and it's the 84 massively a fret here. 6.2 seconds to the leader, but it's three wide for a moment. A bit of contact made between two drivers, as it wasn't wide enough. As you all know, three doesn't work on a race circuit, and as such has altered that front pack, and I think that's Yarrick Metters who is in P2 now. And that is for sure there. The leader just going over the line here, Charlie Cox. And uh, no messages on Alpha so far. Look at it. Coming through the king into Billy's one of... Oh, just skimming the tire wall there. Imagine to keep out of it between the 51 and I think that might have been the 57 as well. Unsure as we carry on this race here. Flying on through. And this gap is massive. The number 12 already onto the next lap here. And uh, the rest of the pack just going towards the top bend now. 
Eric Metz is also having a gap of his own. Seven seconds. And then 1.3 between second and third as it's side by side into Billy's. They both drive a little bit wider as the uh, so 51 just says thank you. And he's trying again. A very defensive move there by Maxim Smith. Trying to just hopefully keep that third position. Still plenty of time though. 2 minutes 42. So we come down the main straight here. And around we come. So Ollie Wise trying to keep hold of that P3 down the inside, though, from a bit of a while away. Goes Moulton. I think the 15 of Will Swales is trying to get involved in this. State gets stuck behind the 55 for the moment as we've got blue flags out uh, for our back markers already. Two minutes remaining on the clock and still plenty of time here with the 55 defending off the 15 now. Takes a really defensive inside line for Billy's. Overshoots it and Will Swales is straight on through. Just like water going down a plug hole. It's a weird reference, but there it is. So into the horseshoe now. As the 51 leads to the 15 to the 55. Oh, that's uh, P3. I think that is the battle for still. So 7.27 the gap. Not the biggest of the day, but is definitely up there. Through the S's, down the back straight we go. And I think that was the 22 getting ahead of the 30 there. Just smoothly through. But nevertheless, let's carry on. One minute remaining, and uh, that means we're only going to get a couple more laps here. The 12 going through now, so we've got uh, two other laps now for before we get to the checkered flag. Eric Metters, 7.3 the gap. A couple of movements midfield as well. But at the moment, it looks like that battle for third is... Not happening for a minute. Hugh Moulton in third. Will Swales behind. It's a four-tenth gap over the line. So we shall see how it goes. But we are coming up to uh, our penultimate lap here. And we shall see how we play out throughout the next course of the next couple of corners or so in this race. So the 26 going on through. Currently sitting in 23rd position down at the horseshoe then for a second. So lead has gone over. So it is on to last lap now. Eric Mess has still not come over the line yet. Has the 21 of one of the back markers of Zach Ormshaw in there. But an eight-second lead is what it is for the number 12. And towards the top bend we go because, ladies and gentlemen, coming today at the checker flag with over an eight-second lead. Charlie Cox takes the checker flag here. Followed by Yarrick Metters and then slowly Hugh Moulton, Will Swales and then Ollie Wise. That is unchanged for those. It looks like Ava Morris jumped up into eighth, I believe. But it all changes on there. So there is your running order there. The gap at the end of that was 8.6 seconds. So here we go. Get ready, la ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the final heat here at Clay Pigeon Raceway for round number one. And we are underway for the junior Rotax here. So round into Billy's, a couple of spinners. I could hear the uh, bouncing of uh, side pods through the window. Uh, right, so the running order on the left-hand side of the YouTube live stream, as per usual. So it's Maxim Smith, Moulton, Sherwood, 
Swales, Dyson, Mead, Cox, Withcombe, Metters, Wise, Clark. Oh, that's the top 11. So keeping our tabs onto the front row here, which is a top three. And they are close for now. So around the hairpin that is the 30. Smith leading the way. Towards the top bend we go. And uh, down the main straight. Still sailing on through for these three. Very similar colour schemes for all of these. Trying to cox with the fast lap time, 35.67. So he's setting a quick lap time here, early doors. So the 30 with a bit of a gap now here as the 12 going really wide there. And someone else going off into the barriers almost. A 53 there. Yarrick Messers. Oh. Is there something slippy <laughs> down at the hairpin? Uh, the horseshoe even. I've said the wrong name again. Must be a bit damp down there still. We'll see if it catches any of the other drivers out, but it's caught a few at the moment. And the 22 going wide. Oh, no. Wrong buttons. Get off. <laughs> Trying to get the right buttons there. Um, but it is wet. Or oh, there is something down at the horseshoe. That is causing people to go off. The driver is okay, so I can now stop spamming every single button that I have available to myself. The uh, driver is okay, but that was a hefty whack. So around the horseshoe we go. It looks like whatever it was has cleared up, fortunately. So, four minutes 50 to go. And uh, your order is Smith, Moulton, Sherwood, Cox. So, not much happening from our front runners at the minute. The 51 and 30 have changed positions. Uh, but they are sticking on one another at the moment as the sun absolutely blares out of the circuit now. Reminds me of it happening earlier, but then it rained again. So flying on the through at the horseshoe here. Just watching the drivers going through. 32 now going through the horseshoe. Ava Morris rounding out your top 10 at the minute. So Hugh Moulton with the fastest lap time of the 34.80. And uh, I believe that is Will Swales that is out of this race here. Towards the top bend here. Down the main straight. So nothing changing wise from our top four. Through biddies we go. And was that a chain between two? Uh, it was indeed the 55 and the 29. So wise ahead of Mead now. I had another spin just at Billy's as it caught me on this. Caught on my eyes. But it's the 51 still leading the way in this race. Two minutes remaining. Hugh Moulton still setting really quick lap times here. The best in the race so far. The 22 really on the rear of the 30 here on the closing stages of this race. As we lead on to the last lap of this race here one final lap to go before we go for our 20 minute break here at clay pigeon raceway might be a little bit more um, but as we fly down the back straights for second and third meanwhile our leader still going into the horseshoe lifting a third wheel up and it's so close between 30 and the 22 but we go towards the top bend and down the main straight to 
say that the 51, Hugh Moulton, takes the checker flag for the Junior Rotax Heat number three. And it will be Maxim Smith who takes second to Sherwood in third. And that is your top three there. Hear the rumble of the Junior Rotax drivers. Get us in the jungle. Are we running? We are. We're going. And we are underway for the last race of round number one here. It is the Junior Rotax final. 12 minutes is underway. So let's see how it goes. Who's going to be leading the way at the end of this lap? Whoever was in front originally went really wide at the hairpin. Anyway... Everything will be on the left-hand side of the YouTube live stream as per usual. So down the main straights, it is Ollie Wise followed by Cox, Moulton, Sherwood, Smith, Metters, Morris, Taylor, Dyson, and then Jaden Mead. Eddie Ann Wiles saying, you got this, Jamie Dart, so proud. Also well done to Sam Mitchell. After the massive crash, you've done so well finishing 10th. Nice. So Wise leading the way then in this race. And we have four in the tire wall? No, three. That's just a random person on the other side of the fence. I'll just look up. There's a gap in the tire wall and there's four heads or three heads. So yellow flags down at the hairpin respectively. That's uh, too much drivers of that. I think it's Kian Downer, Jaden Mead, Rufus Holmes, and Carthy Kometa that might be in that one. If not come over the... Well, three of them, Jaden Mead, Rufus Holmes, and Carthy Kometa, they're the ones that haven't come over the line just yet. So Cox, Moulton, then Wise. It's been a change out there too. 0.07, so that's bang on the line. So the 12 still leads the way as we get some recoveries done for two uh, for one of the drivers. One of those uh, back out and ready to go again. Uh, still the 12 leads to the 51 to the 95. So coming from the top bend down the main straight we come. Best lap time so far is by Jaden Sherwood, a 36.05. A uh, fairly quick time there from the driver. As uh, Mead has gone down into the pit lane. That's one driver out of this race. As uh, Track Maiden is trying to get the other drivers going as best he can. But with 8 minutes 53 on the clock, Cox leads away. And the best lap time of the 35.92 as well. He's setting the personal best and the best lap time of this race so far. Even with <clears throat> the yellow flag down at the hairpin. So round into the horseshoe. As the 94 goes over the line then, and it's like Carthy Kometa might not be returning in this race here. As his car is uh, tucked away out of sight. So two drivers out of this race, Carthy Kometa and Jaden Mead. Eight minutes left to go. As our leaders go around the horseshoe. And it looks like the 22 of Jaden Sherwood has joined into this as well. So from the top bend down the main straight. And we go again for the 51 who still leads the way here. So top four. With a uh, 2.7 gap between the 4th and 5th. Where Yarrick Metters is. And Ava Morris with a 
high position in this race so far. So still carrying on through. Moulton still leads the way by 0.66 of a second. Ava Morris just 0.8 of a second behind Yarrick Metters. She has a healthy gap behind her as well. Where uh, Jasmine Taylor is at the minute. Izzy Lawton being the highest novice at this time. So down the main straight comes our leaders as we reach some of our back markers in this race. That being uh, Kian Downer and uh, Jamie Dart. They're already just going down the uh, back straight towards the hairpin now. Which, by the way, the yellow flags are back in down there. So we could see some action down there soon. As we come into the horseshoe, the 23... 26 even. Uh, backing off from the battle... As the uh, front runners come on through. So, still going on through with the Junior Rotax race here. As so we got yellow flags uh, from the S's onwards, and it looks like we've got a uh, bit of debris on circuit. Uh, that's like someone's chain guard. <laughs> so reaching five minutes now. we get into the closing stages of this race. Still plenty of time on the clock though, uh, especially with the 51. So 1.9 second is the lead that Moulton has to Cox at the minute. Has Ollie Wise right behind and Sherwood. Just with a bit of a view of this battle for second and third at the moment. Meanwhile, a little bit further back. Ava Morris overtaking uh, Rina Sarkis, one of our back markers here. She is running 2.1 seconds behind Yarrick Metters. So the race is still flying through here. Not much change between many of these drivers out there on the grid. Uh, we do have a new best lap time from Charlie Cox, which is a 35-1-1. Uh, <laughs> <point> <laughs> it's not point naught one quicker than Hugh Moulton's best lap time that he also set that lap. The times between Moulton and Cox are so similar at this point of the race. So over goes Hugh Moulton. There goes Charlie Cox. And also then Wise. Ollie Wise. Into Billy's through the S's. As we catch up with two more bat markers. The 13 and the uh, 16 I think that is. As we try to get through. Blue flags are out. And the 51 is straight around. The inside to swiftly carry on on his merry way. Two 
two minutes seven left on the clock. As the 12 is past the back markers to Charlie Cox out. The gap's still 1.2 the last time out, so we'll see if anything has changed because it looks a lot closer than that. That's because it is. It's a second now. Cox gaining two tenths on Moulton out there. The contending with the back markers as well. So Hugh Moulton, Charlie Cox, half a second now at the closing stages of this race. Come down to one minute and uh, we could see a change for the lead if this pace from Charlie Cox continues. A 34.96 was the fastest lap last time out and they are super close now. It's not, it's not half a second, it's side by side fingernail length. <laughs> All right, as we go from the top bend down the main straight. Uh, I thought of something then, it just left, left my brain. I said fingernails. As the gap is now on 0.1, a tenth, tenth and a half is the gap. Through the S's down the back straight. Ollie, what? Ollie Wise is there as well. It's come full circle. They're all together at the start and now at the end. They're all together once again. You can see Ollie Wise trying a different angle at the end. And it's overtaken. I think he's just overtaken Charlie Cox. Down from the top bend, down the main straight. As we go on through, Charlie Cox actually given a contact warning there, just saw briefly. So, zero seconds on the clock, and they've only just got to Billy's. They just skimmed through. So, that means we're coming to the closing two laps here of this race. Yeah, a couple of contact warnings given out there on the messages screen. So coming down the main straight then. Real shortly. <laughs> and we are on the, the last lap here of this race. Here we go then ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we might have had a move already made a bit further back. So the 12 still leads away. Wise in second. As the 17 goes wide, the 22 is ahead of the 51. Sherwood's ahead of Moulton. So as we go from the top bend and down the main straight, taking the checker flag goes Charlie Cox. Followed by Ollie Wise and Jaden Sherwood, Hugh Moulton. How did that play out? Because I missed that. <laughs> Cox takes the win for the Junior Rotax for the final race of round number one here. Ollie Wise takes second, Jaden Sherwood third. And that is all she wrote for round number one. That is the end.